Hey everyone, Dr. O here. I'm gonna teach you how to use Chronometer, which is my favorite diet tracking tool. So you see at the top of the screen that we are at chronometer.com slash sign up. And here we have the create your free account screen. So you're gonna put your email address and you're gonna put your password and confirm it. Obviously I've blocked them because they're mine. Then you go down to your body type, you select male or female. You have your date of birth. So I'll leave it here, January 1st, 1985. Your height, I have it at six feet. It also gives it in centimeters. And then you have your weight, which can be in pounds or kilograms. Then you have to check all the boxes, You know, make sure you read all these things, but then you click on, oh, I'll go down there, click on create an account. All right, so the next, next you're going to get this screen that's going to tell you to check your email for an email verification. And then you're going to need to um, open the link to validate your account. So we'll do that and then we'll come back. And I am back. So I went and I validated it. I had to click continue and, and now it's allowing me in. So how do you use it? So you see we're on the diary page first. So here you see the day and you're going to see where you can add food, add exercise, add biometrics, and add notes. It's already showing me, so based on the information that I told it earlier, it is showing how many calories it thinks I should uh, be burning in a day, and it's giving me some other, other kind of recommendations here, or at least the targets which you, can, which you can set. And then here you see a nutrition score, and then down here you see, the, the, you see weight change as well, and then you see these highlighted uh, nutrients. So when you start to add in food, it's going to tell you how many calories are in the food you're eating, alcohol, caffeine, water, then you're just going to break it down by carbs, lipids, and proteins, and then on the side, you're going to get vitamins and minerals. So you can use this as a tool, not just to see if you're hitting your calorie targets and your macro targets, but also are you consistently deficient in, in different nutrients? And then you can try to find foods to, to bolster those numbers. And you see kind of the, little, the highlighted nutrients there at the top. So lots of things you can learn on, on just this screen here. So then let's go, let's look at a few other areas though, and then we'll come back and learn how to add food. So trends, once you add information here, you're going to start to see trends on calories consumed, uh, body weight, those are going to be big ones there. Then we go to foods. You can actually put in custom recipes and add things like that. That's uh, perfectly fine. So you have custom recipes, custom foods. So if you eat a food on a regular basis and you can't find it in Chronometer's database, you can you can you can look look for foods here, uh, and then you can search for search for foods as well. So lots of ways to try to find the food that you're going to enter into Chronometer when you're mapping out your diet. Then you have the settings section here. It's going to show your email and password and all those kind of things. So you can, uh, again, you can go through all of this. It's not what I'm here to teach you today. And then you have the plans. This is going to be just if you wanted to spend money on the chronometer plan. I think the, the basic plan works really good, but you'll see the reasons to choose others. And then there is a help section here as well, which is great. So let's go back to what we're really going to focus on though, which is back to our diary. So let's look at adding food. So when you click on adding food, you see it already gives you some examples, but I, whatever, just for fun, let's just put in that we had a pop tart and see what happens. I don't know, I haven't looked, but uh, oh, so let's see a, a frosted strawberry pop tart. But either way, whatever foods you choose, and if you can't find the exact food you ate, I generally recommend just getting um, picking the thing that looks the closest. But let's say you had a, a pop tart here, and you can you can scroll down, and it's going to tell you. So did you have a so how much did you have as far as your serving? You can even put here uh, time of day. So you can it'll tell you what time you ate it, if, especially really important if you're doing fasting and stuff. But you can measure it in grams or ounces. So you can just you can just choose whichever serving you actually ate. And let's say we had two servings and it changed the numbers over here on the left and you see the listed nutrients and I click add. So now I've consumed 400 calories of my supposed 1,973. So again, this isn't me, this is just a, a, so I added a food and you can do that on, you can do that for everything you eat and it's gonna give you all the information. So notice how it started to fill things in here. So this is, this is why, I mean, this is why I love Chronometer. There's other great tools out there, but this is my favorite. Uh, you can do the same thing with exercise. So let's say because we had a, we had a pop tart for breakfast, we should probably do some physical activity. So let's just say uh, running in general and effort level, level, you have light, moderate, hard. You can choose how long you did it, and it's gonna tell you how much energy you burned based on your, your size that you told it earlier. So you can't do some of these features, but that's fine. We're gonna add that to our diary. So now notice that the energy burn has, has gone up because that 1,973 number was just my um, basal uh, energy expenditure without, without physical activity. So you, there you go. You can, you know, I'll click on add, uh, you can add notes, but then uh, adding biometric things you can do on top of it, especially if you get into their higher level plans, but not a big deal. I just use it for adding food. 
I only use it for that. I, I exercise. I use things like Apple Watch, or I just, or, or I don't, don't even track those most of the time. So that is how you can get started using Chronometer. I do want to take you back to the help page real quickly because if that's not enough, you can go to Chronometer University. I send all my students there if they're still having questions. Chronometer University is free. It's a on YouTube videos that that are tutorials, and then they have a user's manual as well. So that is Chronometer. I hope that this helps you track your food intake, track your activity if you wanted to, and helps you progress in the right direction. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.